Hello, we are now at uh, Burson for Tesla Supercharger, the first one in the world. And what's so nice about this new supercharger? Well, it's capable of higher charging speeds. I'm not sure if these are. I don't have a fast enough car to test, but I do know there are a lot of other improvements like the sound when I plugged in my car, almost no sound. Uh, which uh, I am very used to the screaming V3 cabinets here it's much quieter and only the car fans are making a lot of noise and the second one is the cable it's much longer it goes much further you can probably charge any non Tesla here you just have to park it correctly in the spot and you'll be able to reach. So if you have like a Volkswagen car, you will plug in here if you back in. And yeah, the other cars you might have to go with the front first, you might have to back in, but I think this will always reach if you just think a little bit about your parking without using the neighbor's spot, of course, which is uh, the way to do it with the uh, version 3 for non-Teslas. The cable is... Yeah, it's kind of light, I would say, for such a hefty cable. It's much thicker than the V3 cable, but it's still light. The connector is light. It's easy to handle. You need one hand, no problem. Yeah, it's a nice handle, nice reach. It's probably three times as long as the V3 cables, but still easy to handle. The cabinets are much larger. They are enormous compared to the V3 cabinets, I would say. But that's, that's fine, as long as they probably have better cooling and uh, less noisy, which is super nice. This water seems like a catastrophe waiting to happen, to be honest. But it's probably fine for now. There is also more water in the end there. Maybe they should have thought about drainage. I guess it's fine. And there is a very nice sign. Tesla supercharger sign over there. Here's the layout. I really like the trees in between. It gives a really nice impression of the place. The spaces are clearly marked. And the places are large enough 